What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to install all your console emulators in one program called RetroArch. I'll show you how to set it up and even a little surprise up next. You guys are gonna love this. I was browsing the internet the other day and found a little gem. What you need to do to download this might need to pause it to get this URL. Paste it in your web browser. Click the green download. And there's some ads and pop ups. Save as desktop RetroArch files. Save. It's going to take a little while, so I'll be right back. And we're done. We got it. So now we can close down web browser. And here it is. This is a self extracting zip file from 7zip. So you don't have to have any zip software to unzip it. It's an exe file. Just double click. And you might get a warning pop up. But there is no viruses in here. I've ran it with Norton. It's clean. See, Windows protected. It's a false negative. Run anyway. Extract it to desktop and extract. Alright, it's done extracting the files. So these are our files. And if you look in here, we have the RetroArch program, which is, you know, all your console emulators in one. And got some ROMs too. We got Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Genesis, Neo Geo, Nintendo Entertainment Center system, excuse me and the Super Nintendo. Uh, it's kind of awesome because here's all the games, man. <laughs> For NES, SNES. I mean, it's amazing. First off, we need to install RetroArch. Now, 
Now, at first, it can look kind of confusing, this program, but you just got to get used to it. It kind of looks like PlayStation a little bit. Next. Accept. Next. Next. And you're probably going to want to click DirectX. You're going to probably need that. I probably won't, but you probably will. It's got some drivers in there that you're going to need to make this work. wants to install some DirectX drivers take off the Bing bar finish run RetroArch and we got a desktop icon over here so let's Uncheck RetroArch, run RetroArch, and then hit finish. Okay, now we need to place the console ROMs folder in your downloads folder because it's just not a good idea to have this on your desktop. So right click, cut, and we're going to go to your download folder, downloads. And we're going to just paste it in there. So right click on downloads and paste. And there it is, console rounds. Okay, now we can fire up RetroArch. All right. Go over here to window. Toggle exclusive full screen. Alright, so now we need to load cores. Um, it's really not a good idea to use a mouse in here. It just works out better using the um, keyboard. So up, down, left, right. Moves around. Navigates the menus. Um, Backspace moves you back, you know, backs you out of a menu. Enter selects a, you know, selects a file or whatever. And escape will actually just boot you right out of the program. So that's how you control with your keyboard. So first off, we're going to load cores. So go to load core, enter. Want to download core, enter, and first we want Game Boy. So and the best one is Gambit. This one here. Enter. Wait for it to finish. Okay, now we're going to go to NES, and the best one is the BNES, enter, and now we need Super Nintendo. the 2010 yeah SNES 9x 2010 right here enter wait till it's finished okay now we need Genesis which is right here 
this one Genesis plus GX enter all right so we need to back out of here so backspace we're back to our main menu and now we need to scan the directory so let's go over here scan directory enter now we're going to direct it to where we put our, our ROMs folder. So that was in C, enter, and then go to users, enter, then, well, the name of your PC, mine is Office, yours will be different. Um, now go to downloads, enter. console ROMs enter now once we're in here we want to go to scan this directory enter and this is going to take some time Alright, so the scanning is complete. So let's back out of here. Backspace, 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 backspace. All the way back to the menu. Alright, next we need to download thumbnails. So we're going to go to online updater. Enter. Thumbnails updater. Enter. Alright, we need to do it for each console, so we need the Game Boy Color. Enter. Wait for it to finish before you go to the next one. Once again, wait for it to finish before you go to the next one. Now we need the NES Nintendo Entertainment System and hit enter. Super Nintendo Entertainment System and hit enter. Sega, Genesis, right here, press enter, alright, so we're done with that, we need to back out of here, so backspace, backspace, and go to settings we're so close to being done guys video enter go down to where you see aspect ratio now this is up to you but if you want it to be widescreen you need to put it on 16.9 so enter 16.9 
gonna back out of here again backspace okay so we are all set here is our Game Boy Color in all the games Game Boy Nintendo Super Nintendo Genesis so, just to give you an idea how it's going to work, um, random game, uh, arrow fighter, now let's go to Aladdin, enter, run, this is the emulator that you want to use, so hit enter again. And then you hit run again. And there's your game. So, to get out of here, you gotta actually hit the escape button. And that kicks you completely out of the program. But, you just start it back up. So there you go guys it's all set up hours and hours of playing thousands of games well I hope this video helped you if it did like and subscribe and help me and as always have a tech day